Hello everybody, this is Kiyoshi here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Kotobukiya Times Maruto Toys, the Noseru 112 scale full action plastic model kit, the yellow version. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's take a look at the packaging first. Um, I really like the packaging. Uh, it's a matte finish, um, but very nice. Here we have Noseru. It's a, it's a robot. Um, Yep, it's it's created by Maru Toys and released by Kotobukiya. It's uh, one of their co um, collaborations. And this is the yellow version. They also have a white version. Um, I think that's all those colors available for the Noseru robots for now. Cool, and here are just some different modes. The normal mode, option mode, work mode, internal mode, writing mode. And um, these are uh, compatible with uh, the uh, Kotobukiya human figures on the model kits as well. Here's more. And here are some warning. Here's some read ups. This is just like a little background on these particular Nocello robot. Basically, what it means is uh, in the year 2060, um, there is a like a high tech company called Atarashi. Atarashi um, company which they make they are the creator of these robots and there is the Noseru and there is Tamoto two different type of robots and uh, the purpose of these robots are to move the objects around helping on the architecture and also for the uh, security of the streets basically they act as like a uh, robotic police slash robotic workers you know um, or transportation purposes. There is a counterpart called uh, Tamotu. Tamotu is similar to Noseru uh, in terms of um, they are both AI robots and the, the purpose is to um, help, out, help out on the city, uh, you know, uh, moving objects around, helping out on the uh, passengers, moving like a vehicle moving things around, moving people around to different destinations for transportation purposes. Cool. It's like a made up world. Cool. Move the packaging, all right? Move the packaging to the side. And here we have the Noseru. I must say, I highly recommend this set. I love it so much. It's so cute. And uh, it's very easy to make too. Um, there's no stickers involved. Um, I have completed so many plastic model kits and the part I hated the most with most of those model kits is the uh, plastic, not the plastic, uh, um, the stickers. Because a lot of time the stickers make it really cheap looking and also over time the, the you know, the plastic, uh, the stickers does wear off and stuff like that. Luckily for this particular set, they don't have any stickers involved and it's just a beautiful finish. And it's very easy to make too. Um, you don't have to be a advanced um, maker. You just have to have the patience. Um, it, I think you can finish it within two hours. Um, if you are like really speed up and don't care about the edges, those kind of stuff, I think you can finish it within an hour, but definitely under two hours. Um, there isn't a lot for um, in a model kit. So there's this is A, see, it's not a lot. And this is B. Cool. And this is C. You see that? And this is D. There's two Ds. These are for the legs. So there's two symmetrical parts, left and the right. Not the leg, but the wheels. And here's also E, which is for the, for the lights. Cool. And there also comes with instructions. Very cute instructions. Once again, 12 scale full action plastic model kit Noseru. This is the name of this particular robot and this is the yellow version. Like I mentioned, they also have a white version. And this is just like a little background story on the view of the world. Um, like I said, there is a high tech company called Atarashi, Atarashi. And then they're the makers of these robots. And this is the comparison of the robots to humans. Basically, by the year of 2060, there are a bunch of these robots available on the streets, um, helping out on human daily transportation, architecture, um, national security, etc. Pretty cool. And here's more, you know, options, how the characters, different kind of can write it and what they can do. Um, they can even 
do it as a um what is this these this thing called like lift like lift lifting you know stuff from the warehouse four clip four clips okay and here is the rest it's all in black and white these are the parts starting with here how to assemble the head and then the rest as you can see it's not hard at all trust me this one is easy um yep and here's the complete and there's some details going on giving you like more details and like so cool and here is the Noseru. Um, I really like it. I think um, this is also one of my favorite purchases this year. Um, like I said, I highly recommend it to anyone who are interested in building robots um, or want to get some uh, plastic model kits to, to try it out on your own. Because a lot of times, you know, you can buy finished goods, finished products from, you know, toy companies. A lot of times that kind of, you know, when you buy it, you lose a lot of the fun too. When you have the chance to make it on your own, especially these are not difficult. And the end product looks fantastic. Looks just like you bought a fully, you know, finished toy from a toy company. Um, it's, 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 it feels a lot different. You know, it, this, these figures that you build your own, um, it's more unique than you just buy them from, you know, from a toy company already made and stuff yep it's more personalized and also you know with these model kits you can always customize it you know you can change color add some different patterns to it i see a lot of people do it and also a lot of these parts can be connected let's say you have two or three bots you can actually interchange the color yeah there's a lot of creativity you can do with these um yeah um this is on two different wheels the wheels are very smooth, like so. You can just play around. This is the one, and then the hat can pop up. He can do all sorts of articulations. Very cute. And then, um, let me see. Let me do a robot mode. You can do like this. Here is the arms. This is This is the arms claws like so exactly like how he should look from the box he can help you out on a daily routine stuff um, like maintenance routine work sort of robot imagine that by 2060 in our world if we do end up having all these robots on the streets I mean it, it, that would be nice right I, I would love to have one like oh like every household should have one like having an iphone i hope one day you know it was that common to have robots in your family in your homes helping out on the you know hard works <laughs> like doing lawns doing house maintenance um yeah or even use it as a vehicle you can just ride it like a bicycle yep pretty awesome yep and then it's like a transformers to move it back, it's easy too. Um, this is how I do it. Uh, hold on, let me close the claws first. Like so. Ready? D, D, D. Psh. Amazing, right? I've seen also customizers who actually build like a real light inside. So it can actually light up. That would be very cool too. Like I'm not like a fancy customizer. But um, I'm happy with the end product as it is. Um, as for the writing feature, I don't have Kotobukiya model kit human figures, but I do have like already made human figures. Here is Nadeshiko. Um, basically, Nadeshiko can just write it like this. Um, yeah, Nadeshiko is a little bit smaller um, for the skill. However, it works. It works great. But if we have like a like a larger figure, like a higher figure. I think um, it will look great as well. But so far, Nadeshiko and Noseru works perfectly together as Noseru as Nadeshiko's uh, transportation robot. Um, yeah, because I like this so much, I also plan to get the white one. So yeah, um, it will be nice to have two different variants here. Um, besides uh, Noseru, they also have, like I mentioned, um, Tomaru or something, what is it called? Tamotu. 
Tamo 2, it's a four-legged robot. Um, I don't have like a product image here anywhere, but Tomato is a four-leg um, uh, um, robot. Uh, also does a lot of the maintenance work um, as its purpose. You guys should check it out, Tomato. Um, I hope I pronounced the name right. Is it Tomato? Uh, Tamo 2. <laughs> Tamo 2 is the robot with the four legs. So um, yeah, check it out. Uh, they have different... And then I think this year and next into next year, they're going to release different versions of robots. Mostly or... Um, Tamo 2. Is that what his name again? Yeah. Most of those uh, upcoming releases are Tamo 2. Um, I know they're going to release a couple crossovers or, um, you know, collab works with the Noseru robots with like um what is it called uh, i don't even remember but they have some anime crossovers uh, worth worth waiting for um i probably will end up picking up too because i really like the design of these noseru they remind me of baymax slash like very cute robots you know they're just really cute really adorable and really high quality made too i like the shininess it made it feel like actual metal you know um yeah so here's my review of the kotobuki, kotobuki times Model Toys, uh, the Noseto 112 scale full action plastic model kit, the yellow version. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.